All right, you got this is the end of the other video here. Do you see that? Shoot. Can you see that? The police expected that he would return within three days, but when he never showed up, they accepted the Because guess what? That Langley had died within the brownstone and that his body was still that somewhere amidst the heaps of garbage. Was right so here where it's laying right now. Both possibilities. Okay. For nearly three weeks, Do you see that? The massive horde, while all that filled the streets to is what ain't right. Were thrown to the sidewalk below, and the train was employed to lift some of the things from the upper floor. So you have to see part one of this. It's the shadow people. Man, you touched the wrong thing on these phones, and that's it. I don't know how to combine the videos, but now it's not funny anymore. Okay, it's not funny. Fourteen disheveled pianos stood proudly on the first floor, ten of which were grand pianos, and all of which were over from Langley's abandoned piano selling business. The remains of the old Model T were still present as well. More strangely, there was a whole human I'm wondering skeleton, if, um, along with the body of a two-headed infant... Uh, I'm going to need a little help with this Bigfoot pregnancy. In jars. It's likely that they had once belonged to their father. Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm missing something. Guns, bicycles, baby carriages, so, anyway, look. A and a if you're a praying person, pray for me, man. Well. Because, really, the don't know where this came from. It's right there. It's in situ. I'm not touching it. Okay? You see it? It's a baby shoe. It's a baby shoe. Okay, that was not there when I left here. As a matter of fact, all right, I don't like that. I don't like it. Uh, that is right there. August 27. Okay. August 27. This is August 23rd. Alright. August 23rd. Look over here though. It's, it's like someone in there. Okay. But look. Go back. It's it's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's the shadow. So I don't know what's going on here, but it's not funny. Okay? It's not funny. There's something here. There's something there. I don't know what that is. Now look at this. It looks like a great big gut, right? And look. Someone was in there. Look. Two shadows. So let's go to the 4th. I mean the 3rd, September 3rd. This was at my new place. That's the old place. September 3rd. That's the new one. So let's check this out. Here it is. Right there. This is the door. So... If anyone comes in the door, it automatically starts taking pictures. And you would see someone coming from the door. I have no idea. This is picture one. No idea how to edit it, okay? I got no idea there. Look, something in the hand, though. I don't like that. It looks like you can almost see glasses. It looks like me. Right? But this is the living room. Whoever this person is, that's the front door, was in the living room, okay? I don't know what's in the hand. What is that? Something in the hand there. Now look. Don't tell me this ain't creeping you out. Because I'm scared to death myself. There's a picture missing though. There was one where it was reaching. So look. If you're praying people. Pray for me please. Because that's you there. Very frightening. Um, I can't really see anything else. I don't know. You know, I, I probably should take a better look around. Um, well, my, my, my uh, medicine cabinet was open. 
Um, you guys want to see where these spirits come from? Look up uh, Job 4.26. Have you ever had an encounter with a, a spirit in your bedroom where it tried to seize you up with fear? Try, you felt like it was trying to enter into your body. What it's trying to do is feed off of you. And um, spoiler alert, there's only one name that works, and that name is Jesus. So you can try anything else you want. Try Buddha, try Hare Krishna, try Shiva, whatever. And it's not going to work. But you know what will work? Jesus. And that is it. So, does this mean, see, that day, the, both, the cam, both the cameras were off, the alarms were off, and I had no idea how. Then I had a problem with the LGE. It was still on, but it was disconnected from the internet. So, I didn't get any alerts. So look, I don't know what's going on, but it's not good, okay? Whatever's happening is really happening. Um, if there are persons entering through my house into this realm, then um, that's not good, man, okay? But something's going on. One, as you saw, was portly. The other one was, I don't know, but it was carrying something in its hand. And we see in the other video that there was something there. It looks like a wrinkled old hand to me. That's what it looks like. A purple wrinkled hand. I don't know if I got to get the police involved yet, but something needs to be done. Um, as many of you know, there's issues I have. And I, in fact, I challenge you. I'm not running from you. I challenge you. That's my ice bucket challenge, Miklo Verga. Okay? Um, everybody who knows about that story knows that you ain't nothing but a foul monster. And that... Uh... Oh, I didn't tell you the door shut on me. The bedroom door closed behind me. <laughs> well, you know, I got to just take it in stride. There's nothing that can hurt me on this planet without God's okay. So once he does that, it's time for me to get out of here and I'll be in heaven. Um, yeah, the light bulbs did blow out also kitchen light bulb, my bedroom light bulb, they're blown out, but the kitchen just blew out, anyway, this has been Get Higher and Preach, and I'm really tired, I would like to do some studies, um, particularly on the fact that the whole Bible is a book of supernatural acts, and that it's about time for if you're in a comfort zone, you got to step out of it. You got to be prepared. Um, or you don't. It's not, I'm not the boss. I'm not the judge. But I know for a fact that time's up, brothers and sisters, that I'm seeing things more frequently now than I ever have. I've seen them since I was a little boy. I've seen all kinds of things, visions. I've seen... Um, lights around people. I've seen lights come from people's eyes. Not like that stuff on TV. In Ghostbusters. But I've seen the light explode within their eyes. Something that I've never seen since. And probably will never see again. I have seen both false and true tongues. Um, I've seen false interpretations. And I guarantee you that that man. If he has not answered yet will I know what the Bible says and so do you about false prophets and about those who just try to silence to keep the silence from getting too uh, 
Um, all right. I'm getting off of this video. And I'm going to ask that the Lord Jesus Christ would bless all of you, that he would open up your eyes and your mind to his word, that, of course, the God that I serve, the one true creator, the one who spoke existence into reality, okay, the one, very one who, it's, it's, it is possible that we're still just the thought of action, you know, we're, we're the, we're still in the planning stages, and, you know, because that is how big and grand and beyond our understanding the Creator is. He's not what we've been taught. He's not a person. He's not a human being. He's a supernatural being that is the supernatural being that all of the angelic creature to this day bow down and they worship him. So I don't know who we think we are, but we cannot limit God. We can't put him in a box. And you certainly cannot um all right, that's the only tile that's gonna fall down. And I can't believe it's still up there in the first place. Anyway, um that's disgusting. So anyway, I'm going to give you all a blessing. Baruch Hashem Kevod Malkoto Leolam Bayod. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Eichad. Ladies and gentlemen, Erica, and you punch like a girl too, by the way. You know that? You punch just like a girl. So, um, Carlos, you're still a Bigfoot. We all know you're a Bigfoot. I'm pretty sure I'm carrying your Bigfoot baby. But, uh, that's for another video. We're going to try to do a live birth on recorded YouTube. So, anyway, have a good night, everybody. My brothers and sisters, if you watch this, pray for me, man, because something ain't right. No, I don't have a mohawk. It looks like it, though, right? Mohawk? Should I get a mohawk? <laughs> I always thought, man, look at me. Hey, I got a mohawk. I need attention. Somebody hug me.